So I'm going to talk about today, um, this is kind of a side project that I had that I do want to keep working on. Um, it's part of the reason I want to present it. Um, I named it image to GeoJSON. Uh, basically, it lets you compile GeoJSON from images. Um, this is something that I've done a lot of by hand, and I was like, what if I made a tool to make it easier? So what is it? Uh, it's a simple interface. It's on the web. I, you know, I deployed it on GitHub pages for uh, tracing paths on images and converting them to GeoJSON. Um, that way you can use it in whatever mapping tool you want. So why did I create this? Um, I used to work in journalism, as I said in my little intro, and a couple years ago I built this California wildfires map for the LA Times. And I became very familiar, the origin story of this is fire data, but I became very familiar with fire data and how hard it is to find <laughs> some of the fire data. Um, finding points for fires and finding parameters for fires is pretty easy. Um, there are a set number of data resources that, you know, once you know what they are, that's where you get the stuff from. But uh, evacuation zones for fires is very hard to find. Uh, sometimes they'll be uh, on the web pages that have the data, other times they won't be published anywhere. Sometimes they'll be published by sheriff's pages on Facebook, and it's just pictures. And it makes it incredibly hard to get this information out to people who need to see it. Um, so this is something that I really, really struggled with and worked around and was like, how, how, like this is impossible and I, I know how to do this stuff. Um, so for instance, I want to show you one of these Facebook things. This is somebody, this is not a sheriff's page, but this is, somebody created this page for the Cedar Creek fire and you just have to scroll through and like this isn't even, a, you know, an evac zone, but here's a map and it's like, this is super inaccessible. It's just like a PDF and what do you do with that when you kind of want to disseminate this information? Um, it's really tough. So sometimes you'll get lucky and somewhere like Cal Fire or NC Web, if you scroll down far enough or you click on the right tab, we'll have a map of some kind. So this one, this is all green now because it's, not an active fire anymore, but it's not fire season, which is good. Uh, but I'm gonna use that as an example to kind of show you how this works. So this is just like what I deployed. Uh, it's pretty simple, it's a one page app, but it allows you to drop an image on there and then kind of trace it and so then you can have your file. So I'm gonna try and do this for you live, which hopefully will work. Uh, so. Sit close to Lake Tahoe. I'm going to show you this where the fire was. Um, so I actually saved that image earlier. And now we're going to go and get it. Should be this one. Great. So it looks rough. Again, it's, <laughs> it's just something I made in my spare time, but I do really like it and I would love uh, feedback on it and like other suggested improvements. So you can kind of see. Um, I'm gonna be based it on these, you can see some lakes in this. Um, so I'm like, okay, these are where my lakes are and I'm gonna line them up uh, over here. So this needs to be a little bit bigger. I knew this would be challenging to do in front of you all. And I fully admit this is tedious, but it is better than the alternative. So um, let's try that. So I'm gonna go ahead and lock that and then set a blank. That's not it. Oh. I promise this always works except for when I'm in front of you. Uh, here we go, okay. Um, so then I'm just gonna go ahead and trace this whole thing. Um, okay, I'm having internet problems, just like what's happening, but let me show you, I also took a video of um, this earlier. This is a similar thing to, uh, just in case. So this is, 
basically the same thing, just um, a different location. So I grabbed um, light rail, the light rail points, and kind of overlaid this for, um, they only did the blue line in this example, but uh, kind of showing how this works when the internet is great, so that's something I could think to maybe improve. Um, <laughs> But kind of overlaying it, it is, like I said, it is tedious, and one of the things that I'll get into um, in my like feedback area is that I, I do think um, it, it doesn't work great for being like super exact over large like areas, but um, it's nice because you at least have something to start with. So you can trace it, and then you can export it, and <clears throat> I have, I forgot to speed this up, so sorry, it's a little slow, um, but then you can, um, you know, drag it into whatever program you want. So it's almost done. See that it's on there, and then can grab it. So great. So then you can take that, and uh, you can. Take it into something, for instance, if you wanted to see, like, uh, let's see here. That's fine. Okay, well, while that's working, hopefully it'll load. <laughs> um, so I, I showed you some fire examples, um, and I also showed you some other examples like maps. Um, I think it's helpful for tracing routes for like light rails, an example, like a marathon is an example. Um, you know, anything that happens like in a city or you know a big area, it's very wide. Um, I just found it useful to kind of like I wanted to empower folks who don't necessarily know like a ton of have a ton of coding experience to be able to make maps. Um, I feel like one of the struggles that we have is like if you, you know, if you know a lot about Esri or like how the web works, you might be able to find um, like the data feed for this and be able to go grab it. But if you don't, then you're kind of SOL. <laughs> and so I was like, how can we make this better for folks to be able to like, you know, get important information across? Um, yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> well, uh, it does work, and so this is just like an example of you know what you can do. But um, so again, so kind of issues and improvements. I know that it's not great when you have like super big distances, um, but at least it gives you something to start with. I think, which is really helpful. Uh, what I used to have to do was I couldn't even do it on this computer, but I have to have a monitor and I pull it up side by side, and I would like look at the map and I'd look at like the Mapbox like studio and I'd like try to like freehand trace it which works out there like along roads but it's really hard to do <laughs> and it's very time consuming um, and so I know that there are also some minor control issues um, you know maybe what I log what I saw here but I do think that's more in it related than anything else um, I think the style just wasn't loading and uh, I'd love it if, you know if you play with it and you find stuff. Um, please submit it, or you know, you can just do it on GitHub if you want, or if you want to tweet at me or DM me at Casey and Miller, uh, that's great too. So thank you for bearing with me through some technical issues, but I hope you got a sense of how it works. <laughs> <laughs>